Hey everyone, I'm JJ McClant, Group Product Manager focused on agent experience here at Zendesk. Today, I'm stoked to share some useful best practices on how to boost productivity with Agent Workspace. Let's dive right in. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Agent Workspace, let's start out with a quick recap. Today, CX leaders know that as request volumes continue to rise, agents are managing heavier workloads and handling more complex requests. They lose time while toggling between different tabs and dashboards to reach customers across different channels. It's harder to keep all conversations in one place and deliver personalized experiences at scale. Agent Workspace allows your agents to focus more effectively and cut out the manual work from the intuitive and easy to use workspace. That's why we're continuing to invest in Agent Workspace, our primary user interface that allows teams to manage all conversations from a single place, put the customer context, AI-powered intelligence, and collaboration tools dynamically at your agent's fingertips, and is the place where we've been launching our latest innovations and will continue to do so. Tens of thousands of Zendesk customers are already providing better service with Agent Workspace. Our customer, the leading education technology innovator and creator of the widely popular ABC Malice online learning program, Age of Learning, wanted to deliver the best experience possible to its global audience with less friction and more personalization. Moving to Zendesk Suite and Agent Workspace helped the team provide more conversational interactions, deflect common questions, and improve agent experience while increasing efficiency. Now, Let's dive into some of the best practices that can be easily implemented across your operations to ensure you deliver exceptional customer service that your customers expect. Expectations of personalization are more advanced than businesses realize. In fact, 66% of consumers said that they would spend more with companies that allow them to start a conversation on one channel and pick it up on another without having to repeat themselves. How do you make that happen? You could deliver personalized conversational experiences through creating chatbots. You could let your custom bot offer instant answers 24 seven on any messaging channel and gather contacts for your agents to cut out manual tasks so that your agents could deliver personalized service with less effort, all from a unified interface. One of our digital banking customers, Pay Nearby, saw a 30% efficiency boost when they moved over to messaging. You could set agent status in a single place across all channels. Previously, agents had to update individual statuses for each channel individually. Now, they could set one status that reflects universally across all channels. This helps agents be more productive and ensures appropriate availability across all the channels. Additionally, admins can create custom agent statuses that are better tailored to the needs of their teams. For example, they may want to create statuses that agents can select when they are away at lunch or in a meeting. This provides greater insight into the current availability and workload across the team. And third, you can respond faster over whichever channel your customers prefer or are on. Let agents quickly and easily switch channels to reply to customers on their preferred channel, whether it be email, social messaging, live chat, telephony, or SMS, without losing context or ending the conversation. Next, you can solve issues faster by putting full customer context, intelligent suggestions for the next steps, relevant knowledge base content, and powerful collaboration tools at your agent's fingertips. 70% of consumers we've surveyed expect anyone that they are interacting with at a company should easily have access to their past purchases, contact from their historical interactions, and any other information that they have provided to the company in the past. How can you leverage Agent Workspace to make this happen? By using the context panel on the right-hand side of the interface. The context panel is where all the rich context for a customer and the conversation are located, including customer details, a native side-by-side -side integration with Zendesk Guide, and where support apps you have installed are located. Agents are able to expand and collapse the context panel whenever needed, and they can make it horizontally wide or narrow as preferred. Agents could also leverage side conversations, 
where they can pass along a holistic view of the customer, the ticket, and the conversation to another person that's not an agent in Zendesk. And they could do that all within Zendesk. And now we're going to see it all together in a short demo of Agent Workspace. Let's jump right into it. Today, we're a Zendesk agent on Agent Workspace. Here, we have a message from Bella Bartok, who has requested a refund for the symposium they attended but did not meet their expectations. They have submitted this information through our chatbot, which gathered sufficient context before I even picked up the conversation. First, I perused through Knowledge in Context Panel, which is our native Zendesk Guide integration in Agent Workspace. Let's search for a refund. Here, I find an article with the information I need, and I quickly look through after making the context panel a little bit bigger for visual consumption. Okay, they're eligible for a refund as long as they meet this particular stipulation as stated on the first paragraph. On second thought, why don't I just reference this particular section out to Bella? I then submit an update the ticket to a custom status of refund processing. I then need to use the restroom, so I set my agent status over to away, which doesn't only reflect my availability in messaging, but also throughout other channels like email and talk. Time elapses, and I get back from my restroom break. And let's say that the team ran into some complications when we were processing the refund, so I need to hop on a call with Bella to gather additional information. I can quickly do that from the channel switcher. I enter in a number, make the call, and then go back to messaging. Some more time elapses, and the refund has been processed, and a refund statement has been produced. Rather than sending it to Bella via messaging, I think it's best if we send it through email for posterity. I can easily do that by switching the channel to email, and then sending it off to Bella from there. I then close the conversation and proceed to continue on with the rest of my work on Agent Workspace. And finally, let's chat about best practices on how to ensure a smooth transition over to Agent Workspace. We'll have resources in the next slide that's available for download after this. First, you'll need to prepare. Have a clear identification of the impact of change and understanding of limitations. You'll need to ensure a structured rollout plan is in place. And for any accounts that use Zendesk Chat, there may be a slight drop in efficiency initially as agents come up to speed on the learning curve, but there is a boost in TTR, or time to resolution, for most customers in the long run. You'll need to plan for the change. Train your agents in advance with a side-by-side -side comparison and point out the differences between the older and the newer UI. They'll be more productive off the bat if they are trained in advance. You can also get hands-on and test out Agent Workspace in your sandbox environment. And finally, it's time to activate. Do not launch Agent Workspace during peak season or a peak time of day. Do it on a period of relatively low volume to minimize disruption. Allow 30 to 90 days of an acclimation period for your agents. But of course, this will decrease based on sufficient training and testing. As promised, here are some helpful resources to get you up to speed with Agent Workspace and guidelines to help your move. Thank you, and see you all on Agent Workspace.